I have a very funny story to tell you. I was at my dermatologist today. She was with her girlfriend, and they came to the conclusion that they both wanted to have a menage. This came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And, and she asked me, do I know anybody? I said, yeah, but it'll cost you a thousand bucks. I was thinking of you. Me. You need the money. And I'm closing shop. I am not a beautiful man. Is Mick Jagger a beautiful man? You're an experienced mother. Why shouldn't you get paid for it? Of course, I saw myself getting a small fee. If you're a pimp, you gotta have a name. I'll be Dan Bungo. It's nice to meet you, Dan. Maybe I should try your guy out first, alone. Just me and him. You do this often? No, I mean... So this is kind of a part-time thing? You could say that. Oh, she tipped you? Mm-hmm. You know, waitresses pool their tips and uh, they split them. We got another customer, maybe more. Uh -oh. yeah, word of mouth. <laughs> God bless you, girls. Is he tall? Yeah. I really think that I should try him. I like it rough sometimes. I even like to be the man to strap on my gun. Hmm? Is he Jewish? Jewish? Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is what you do? You bring magic to the lonely? That's one way to put it. He's shy, so why handle a dialogue? He's shy. He doesn't look shy. You are flirting with me. No. Yes. And just to jiggle Everybody needs contact. They need love. They need affection. You do remember that a threesome is uh, two, 2,000 bucks. And these are vulnerable people. Think of it as a performance. They want you to play act anyhow. No matter. Let's do the menage. Call Bongo. <laughs> Dad Bongo. When the end comes. She's so soft, like the soft animal. <laughs> Very nice day's work, let me tell you. Life goes on without me. Have you ever done it, Menage a Trois? 1977, during the blackout. Nobody could see anything, but uh, it was still very pleasant. 